Good morning, it's 9 a.m. I'd like to welcome everybody to the November the 2nd of 2020 work session of the Limestone County Commission. Pam, do we have any public comment? Uh, yes, sir. The first up is uh, Jonathan Yurden. If you don't mind, come to the microphone here, please, sir. <clears throat> this morning, I've uh, submitted uh, four budget revisions. Uh, these four budget revisions are for uh, additional network equipment for the uh, virtual desktop infrastructure uh, that I that y'all had approved previously. Uh, I covered the ends. I forgot to include the stuff for the middle, so that's what that is. Um, I've also included in there a budget revision for the license department, for the license commissioner department. That's to uh, replace my stock of monitors and computers that are now in the, the uh, mobile command center outside as well as uh, purchasing four laptops, printers, barcode scanners, basically a, uh, a position for what they have downstairs so that they can work remotely in the event that we have to close up shop. Um, and then the final thing was uh, three cameras for the sheriff's office. These are cameras that uh, they have a lens, but they also have a sensor on them. So uh, anyone that's within 10 feet, as they walk past the camera, it checks their temperature. In the event that they're over whatever the threshold is set at, uh, it will then send an alert uh, to the person that's working in central control, basically saying, hey, this person's over the threshold. So, uh, and all these, I was requesting budget revision to use CARES Act funding to cover the purchase. And the CARES money's got to be used by? December 30th. Where will they be placed? Uh, at the Sheriff's Office will be one in the uh, front lobby. Mm -hmm. There'll be one in the visitation lobby mm -hmm. uh, there on the west side. And the third one will be back, back in the jail uh, as they're bringing uh, people in. All righty. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Vish. Thank you. <clears throat> Pam, who we got next? Uh, Zach Magnuson. Mr. Magnuson, if you don't mind, step down to the microphone, please. Thank you, gentlemen, ladies. Uh, my name is Zach Magnuson. I'm from Ardmore. Um, I'm addressing you in reference to our Confederate Memorial here in Limestone County, and I want it to stay where it is as it is. Um, my people have been in and around uh, Limestone County for over nine generations and 200 years, and uh, I'm a lineal descendant of seven men who were memorialized with that monument. And I wanted to address the recent movement of the monument over in Huntsville in Madison County. Uh, they claimed that because they applied for a waiver and did not receive a response from the committee within 90 days, they were uh, allowed to move that memorial. Now, while that isn't uh, a provision of that law, it only applies for memorials between 20 and 40 years of age, and ours is clearly more than 40 years old. Therefore, the law still protects our memorial. Um, so I just ask simply that, that you men uh, uphold our laws and your oaths of office and protect our memorial where it is as it is. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Moggs. Yeah. Um, who's next, Pam? Up next is Austin Luder. Mr. Luder, if you don't mind, step up for the microphone, please, sir. <coughs> good morning, everyone. Um, three minutes is never going to be long enough for me. It's good to see you all again, for those who know from back in the day. I just got it back into town, in a sense, and caught wind of the, what's going on with the Confederate Monument. and. You know, reading a lot of stuff and just wondering, having some questions of my own, I guess a general question, because I didn't come up here to give a history lesson, is, you know, what do we love so much about the Confederacy? It's something I wonder all the time. I think about the lost cause myth, which I'll save us that time, but, you know, is it the state's rights? Is it that we want to say it was northern aggression? Or, you know, I've just been walking around the city square, and it's so interesting to me. We've got Judge Horton on one side, and then the Knights of the Knightly Race on the other side. It's interesting to me. Another thing I want to bring up was Confederate Vice President Alex Stevens bringing on the Confederacy said, our new government, its cornerstone, its great truth is that the Negro is not equal to the white man. Slavery is its natural condition. And then I read more and more about what's been going on and 
I know these men sitting up here, maybe it's the good faith I have. I know they're not afraid of Attorney General Marshall. I know that's not the case at all. So the fine, it's interesting to me, and um, I'd love to keep this conversation going. I'm late to the party, I know, but it's good to be with y'all today. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Luter. Pam, do we have any more? No, sir, I do not have any more. All right, thank Nobody you, Pam. In. Nobody else signed in. So uh, <coughs> move on to the agenda for today. We have uh, um, no resolutions and orders on here. Um, <coughs> under contracts, agreements, and grants, first on here will be to accept a grant from the <coughs> Bureau of Justice Assistance in the amount of $11,535 um, for 15 bulletproof vests for the Sheriff's Office. This is a 50% match grant. The Sheriff's Office will pay um, $5,767.50 in a match part for that 50%. Any discussion with that? All right, no discussion with that. We'll move on to the second one will be to, um, <coughs> to approve Charter Communications Operating LLC um, Revised right to entry agreement for the Sorrell Dental location upon uh, where the old health department is. Any discussion with that? Yeah, what's what's that about? Um, Mark can enlighten us on that. I'm sure it was they had had a where they had to get in the building. We had proved it earlier, but they had. <coughs> Discussion with the right to entry. All righty. Um, moving on under budget revisions, we have the old Kroger's building, the public library. Um, what it, we got to make a budget revision to pay the insurance on it, which is twelve thousand two hundred ninety-nine dollars and fifty cents. Any discussion with that budget revision? All right. And then we'll have four other budget revisions that will be added that. Um, Jonathan had presented to us earlier, and you'll have that all ready for the meeting. All righty. No more budget revisions and no more discussion with that. Um, we'll move on to merchant purchases. We have no merchant purchases, no board appointments. Um, under award of bids here, we'll um, sanitary supplies with American paper and twine, um, which all of us here listed, you know, 20% over the current 20% discount on the catalog price. Um, any discussion with that bid? All right. No discussion with that bid. We'll move on to personnel action. Um, first on here, we'll approve to hire Kerr Burris as a corrections officer pending a drug screening. Any discussion with him? All right. No discussion with him. Second on here, be to approve to promote Tracy Wooldridge as the, to the nutritional coordinator at the Council on Aging. Any discussion with her? All right, no discussion with her. With third on here will be to approve um, to hire Daxton Gilbert as equipment operator in District 2 pending a drug screening. Any discussion with him? All right, then number four will be to uh, transfer Justin Brown to District 1 as equipment operator 3. Any discussion with him? All right, well, no discussion with him. Um, under merit increases, anybody have any issue with anybody listed on the merit increase below? All right, no discussion with anybody on the merit increase. We'll move on to the engineer's report, Mr. Massey. Uh, thank you. Uh, we have four, um, five subdivisions here for your consideration. Um, and uh, they are, uh, we have Midpoint Business Park. Uh, this is a major subdivision. It will be for final approval. It's creating three lots in District 2, north side of Highway 72, approximately 1,600 feet west of Mooresville Road. Um, this one, the road and infrastructure is not complete. They have bonded um, the completion of all of that, which is allowed by our subdivision regulations. So, um, but they have a business that is needing to begin operating. 
Uh, so they have completed up to that business, but haven't completed the, com the subdivision. So they've bonded the rest of the work. Uh, so we have a, a one-year bond uh, on that for them to complete it. Uh, Davis Road subdivision, this is minor, preliminary, and final, uh, creating five lots uh, in District 3. It's approximately one mile south of Highway 72 on the west side of Davis Road. Uh, vault subdivision, uh, it's minor, preliminary, and final, creating four lots in District 4 approximately 500 feet west of Highway 99 on the south side of uh, New Cut Road. Uh, Salem Minor Hill Road subdivision, minor, preliminary and final, creating four lots in District 4, east side of Salem Minor Hill Road near the Tennessee state line. Uh, and then Elk River Mills subdivision, um, this is minor, preliminary and final, creating four lots in District 4. Uh, approximately one and a half miles west of um, 99 on the north side of uh, Elk River Mills. And that's all that I've got for your consideration. All right. Anybody have any discussion with any of the subdivisions from Mr. Massey presenting? Anybody have any other conversations for Mr. Massey? <coughs> all righty, none of that. We'll move on. Um, other business, we have none. Schedule public hearing, we have none. Report of officers, Commissioner Samick. I don't have anything at this time, Mr. Chairman. All right, thank you, Mr. Samick. Commissioner Turner? Yeah, just to the people that spoke about the monument, uh, I'm not going to make any kind of decision today. It's my last day, last meeting. You can wait on my successor to come in. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he'll be glad to study the issue and make a decision. Thank you, Commissioner Turner. Commissioner Black? I have nothing. Thank you, Commissioner Black. Commissioner Harrison? I'll save my comments for the regular meeting. Thank you. And um, I'll thank everyone for coming today. Thank everyone for speaking. Um, we'll recess until 10 a.m. Thank you all.